I'm Jeanette. Uh, I'm working Storm Patrol. My name is Brittany, uh, and I'm also working Storm Patrol. Typically, we work on the trail crew for Redwood National Park. However, the park and its partnership with Save the Redwoods League has developed an opportunity for a Storm Patrol crew for this winter. So today's a revisit day. So we've already previously gone around the park and gone through several of the drivable roads and walkable roads and UTVable roads and have identified um, some culverts and some drainage issues that need some particular attention because they have been classified or have been um, deemed as potential failures from our investigations and from our evaluations of each of the culverts. And so we're going through today, we've had some rain the last couple days, and we're going to go around to these culverts and trigger points that we've identified and see how they reacted to the rain that we've gotten the last couple days and see if there's any changes or anything that's of concern. Just checking to see if we've had maybe any new sediment deposits um, from upstream to see, you know, if it's um, stuff bl plugging the culvert. Um, seeing if maybe we've had any more erosion around the outlets of the culvert because of the high um, high rain flows that we've had. Also checking to see if we have ponding in some inboard ditches and uh, just making sure that the water's flowing where it should be flowing. So with this culvert we have here, um, some of the red flags that uh, see with it is, it's got this wooden structure around it, it's called the track rack. It's supposed to keep the larger woody debris uh, and stuff from plugging up the mouth of the culvert. Um, and we can see that it's, a, it's in a little bit of disrepair. It's plugged, it's got a lot of sediment up against it. And also we see that the stream is kind of diverting off to the side here because of the built up sediment. And that can cause erosion to the, uh, to the mouth, around the mouth of the culvert and not cause, want the water to flow in. It's still flowing in, it's still doing its job. Um, but then with this kind of thing, we maybe worry about a little bit more erosion around the outside. So with the culvert that we just worked on a little bit and took data on, um, we would describe this as what well, our treatment was effective, yet failures only delayed because um, of the, the outlet is, is rusted out and there's nothing that we can do about a, a rusted out culvert. That would be, the culvert needs to be replaced. Um, and being, it being a shotgun, probably the angle of the culvert maybe needs to be changed a little bit to fit the, um, how the natural stream flow would be. Um, so, but it is effective because we have prevented erosion around the inlet and uh, directed the stream to um, what it was originally supposed to be towards the trash rack, towards the inlet of the culvert. So it is effective, but it needs further evaluation by the road crew. We may have delayed this uh, failure a couple years. Yes, <laughs> we've given this, this culvert new life. <laughs>